off and I have to say the show is great and for those of you who have not seen it it basically deals with the makeup and everything on television shows and yep. really the high intensity like Defiance the alien makeup which you guys actually featured on one of your exactly shows. yes yes we did we crossed over with Defiance and got to go visit their set and uh, see how they're doing their aliens over there <laughs> and like how they bred and whatnot and yeah. like I just I really have to say I could totally see your show as a video game because oh right just to see like how people could create different things I'm and, convinced like, it's an app it is an app in itself it's a video game I mean just your own transformations right then and there I think it'd be so cool I mean I'm such a gamer myself so I'm all about that <laughs> so what's one of your favorite games oh god I mean like right now I'm kind of stuck on my iPad so I kind of stick to bubble bubbles one of my favorites I love the word stuff words with friends obviously Candy crush. Yeah, all that stuff, you know, and of course, you know, the, the draw something. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, if you hook up on draw something with a face-off contestant, I think that, that would be. It is the best time. It is so much. Some of their I, sketches I, are insane. Anthony and I have been going back and forth. Anthony Peppy from season one will go back and forth. I'm like, dude, you're killing me. I, there's no way I can't top that. So maybe we could have like a face-off draw. There has to be a face-off draw something. That's great. So now, uh, basically, um, how did you get into the show? Well, my, my family's background. I mean, I still had to go on audition just like everybody else, but uh, with my family's background, my, my family created the makeup artist. They, at the turn of the century, my great-great-grandfather was the wig maker to the King and Queen of England. He came over and he basically was the one to help take makeup artists away from actors doing it, and he be became the makeup artist on set. Um, Adolf Manju of the Three Musketeers had shaved off his mustache, didn't know what to do. He sewed together a little hair lace piece of, of, of hair and laid it down and the director said that's it. That's the makeup artist that are now born and actors you're done because you can't do this stuff. You screw it up. So that was the birth of it all. And since then they invented false eyelashes. They invented a hair lace wig. So there was a lot that came from that. So there's history there. My grandfather did Gone with the Wind, Ten Commandments, Creature from the Black Lagoon. And now forward to my dad, who has, oh my goodness, nine Emmys, an Oscar, um, star in the Walk of Fame. So there's a lot of history there. And I was on my dad's lap in the lab when he was doing Star Trek The Next Generation. So I grew up with all this. And I would help him run the rubber, and I would help him work the lab. And I could walk the walk and talk the talk with this industry. You know, if you were to throw me on something like Top Chef, I'd probably fall flat on my face, because I don't know how to cook at all. <laughs> But this I know, so this is my world. So what could you say, like maybe we could see any video games going on to uh, face off anytime soon? Any kind of characters that we'd like to see created? Could be, yeah. I, I mean, we, we definitely have some that... Maybe Halo, uh, like, and coming uh, back from, like, after being shot up or something? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's with season five coming, it's there's going to be, you know, obviously we got to go bigger and better. It goes bigger and better every, every year. Every season. So. I love your show. It's a great show. Thank you. Thank you very much.